game means a game of fate. It's not inspired from anywhere or copied from anywhere. It's not a remake of anything. It's a very original subject. A lot of films that we see in the in the near past where you don't have to think. You don't have to. You don't even carry your brain to the theatres. This one you really have to. Every film has its own way of promotions. You know, whatever the promotion method that one has chosen, I think is going to eventually work for us. Really looking forward to its release and the fact that it should be liked by people. Of course, there is excitement is more than nervousness because I think it's um, looking forward to the, my first film release. It's a film that really one has worked very hard on and uh, because of that, um, um, I think the excitement level is tripled, you know, because it's a good film. I love the film. I, I've really worked hard on it. People have worked hard on it. All the cast and crew has worked hard on it. So, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to its release and the fact that it should be liked by people. Game means a game of fate, you know, that uh, sometimes in life, um, fate plays such a game with you that uh, you cannot escape that, you know, and then there is, um, you know, there is no uh, winning and losing in the game of fate, you know, everything is just an experience. The film is about uh, these four people, four strangers who are leading normal lives, all are invited onto one island by this gentleman called Kabir Malhotra, who's a billionaire. And uh, the minute uh, all of them arrive, they all come to know that uh, they are connected by this one per one person, one girl called Maya. And they are shocked because they didn't even realize that their lives were intertwined with each other's. And then the next morning, they have a dead body in the, on the island. And obviously, they can't leave the island. And the cops come on and then that's the... And all of them, all the people on the island become suspects. So then you can see that that's a game where um, who has done it? It's a cat and mouse game after that point between a cop and four suspects. See, first of all, what I got excited about was the script. You know, I think uh, Althea um, has done a spectacular job in writing the script the way she wrote it. It's a very different way of, uh, you know, it's very unlike uh, a regular um, Bollywood film or a Bollywood thriller and plus it's not inspired from anywhere or copied from anywhere it's not a remake of anything it's a it's a very original subject and that's uh, what excited me plus I like the genre of uh, you know of murder mysteries I've always felt that uh, I love to watch a murder mystery I love to watch a courtroom drama because uh, what it does is it actually tickles your brain cells a lot. You know, it, it makes you think all the time. Unlike a lot of films that we see in the in the near past where you don't have to think. You don't have to. You don't even carry your brain to the theatres. <laughs> this one, you really have to. You need to think about it and you, it makes you, uh, keeps you guessing all the time as to what's going to happen next and who's done it and why and, you know, that's... As an ad filmmaker, you do, um, you tell a story in a, in a short, in 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Of course, the story also is that short, you know, to, which can be told in the 30, 40 seconds. It's almost um, like, um, it's like, you can consider that it's like a scene out of a film. So that's how advertising works. And you detail everything out in advertising because you're only telling a 30 second story. Whereas features are concerned, it's like uh, 150 ad films put together. You know, it's like, it's like so many of those um, scenes and uh, if you approach it like that, then there is never a problem. For me, there was, a, honestly, it, it was not that difficult for me to make the transition because I'm eventually a storyteller. You know, whether I tell stories in a short form or a long form, uh, I'm still um, uh, basically a storyteller. So I'm very happy doing that. When you, when you cast well, and that's something that I believe in, I've believed it in advertising as well, that when you cast a film well, when your story um, is cast well, it takes care of, it actually makes the story a much more compelling, you know, it makes it more compelling, it makes it more uh, interesting. And at, and at the same time, 
um, you know, it's you can say that a lot of your load gets off because what ends up happening is that the right actors, which means that they are suitable for their roles. And a good actor will always bring himself into the role as well. And that kind of, you know, blooms the flower and the, the whole bouquet of, called the film. Stars, that we, we always get a little worked up about the fact that, oh, stars and they throw tantrums and they... See, honestly, I feel that when a star or when he, any actor reads the script and the script work is done well if the script in within the script of the characterizations are done well when we've we've tried to prepare ourselves and we've done a prep to the level where um, the script is very tight characterizations are very tight honestly i don't see any reason why anybody should crib nobody cribs after that because the problem is when you don't know your job is when they actually start interfering with yours because you don't know it, know it yourself. That's the main part. So if you know the job, I, I didn't find any difficulty. There was not a single person on the set, uh, whether he was Abhishek Bachchan or whether it was Kangana or a newcomer like Sarah, um, none of them ever ended up, let's say, throwing any tantrums or, or making anybody feel like we are stars and you're not. Nothing like that. You know, ultimately, once you come onto the set, everybody is equal. Everybody just works together. But the prime importance, what is of prime importance in this matter, is that you need to know your job. And if every department knows their job, it's, it's absolutely smooth. People are actually giving me some very interesting feedbacks, actually. There are people who are saying that, you know, we've never seen a film look that good. You know, it's very interesting, it's very international. People are loving the songs. There are very few songs in the film. But uh, whatever is there, we have really put in a lot of hard work into it. Asan Shankar Loy have done a fantastic job uh, putting the tracks together. So, um, so I'm, I'm very happy with the feedback I'm getting. The feedback is really positive. Not at all. I, I think um, the way it's working right now is I don't have any um, complaints whatsoever about it because every film has its own way of promotions. The producers of this film have um, taken a certain route to promote this film and um, I'm extremely happy that a uh, right number of people are talking about it and um, uh, you know whatever the promotion method that one has chosen I think is going to eventually work for us. Absolutely, I, I'm sure that it will help because um, for one, you know, it's been one month uh, that there is not an, uh, any of any release. And apart from that, uh, what is interesting is that uh, the film, um, whatever the feedback I've got as yet, people are looking forward to a film like this. You know, they're, they're looking forward to a, a very slick, interesting, and, and plus it's a murder mystery. So murder mysteries are always something that people like to watch because it, it kind of, you know, it, it becomes exciting. Uh, for them to watch. Plus, the Cricket World Cup is coming to an end now and, um, and that hopefully should really get people onto the theatres for sure. It was awesome, yeah, awesome, you know, because um, it, it couldn't have, I couldn't, couldn't have asked for more because, you know, I personally believe that um, filmmaking is an experience. You know, that it's not just about going there and shooting something and coming back and then releasing it. I think it's you become a family for some time, you know, at the, at the, as, at, while you're shooting uh, and while, while you're going through the entire process. And I've met such incredible people right from Abhishek onwards, Ritesh Faran, um, you know, right up to my every spot boy on the film. I'm so delighted to meet them, to interact with them and to have this uh, bonding with them and I think the experience has been outstanding and I'm looking forward to more uh, such experiences in life.